Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time, we set out to accomplish everything that we could in the explored areas. In the known world, we set out to conquer all the quests therein, which meant that we started off in the Faron region at Highland Stable, and we knocked out a bunch of horse-related uh, quests. There was a, a new quest from DLC Pack 2 that would give us the ancient gear that allows our horse to warp to wherever we are on the map, with a few exceptions. It also gives us two more spurs, which is really useful. Following that, we set out to re uncover, or recover, I guess, all of the lost memories that can be triggered in the known world, which took us to the, uh, cor well, near the Korok Forest in this strange little outcropping of map. Uh, we found just the Serene Stables, another shrine, and a couple of bosses. Now, in between episodes, I have actually done quite a bit of work. You'll notice, if I go over to my weapon stash, I have two more weapon slots and zero Korok Seeds. That is because whenever I, I play off-screen, which is becoming a, a more regular occurrence nowadays, I will sometimes come across Korok Seeds, which I need to remove that, that uh, marker. And when I do, I don't get them because I want to show them on screen. Because every Korok Seed I have gotten, I have shown on screen. And so, I mark them on the map. And... I never find an opportunity to get, an opportunity to get around them because simply put they take out a lot of time in an episode if I were to warp over even montaging it's kind of difficult but now that I've started showing Korok seeds in the end slate instead of doing a vista uh, I can kind of errata that that style of play and I can get all the Korok seeds so I got upwards of 50 Korok seeds uh, which you will be seeing in the very long end slate this episode. Speaking of which... Oh, these are eggs. Now, you have since told me... Whoa, there it is, wow. That there is a shrine quest, which is southwest of the Mawajim Shrine, and we just got a, a glimpse of that just now. So, I'm going to work my way down there. We haven't really explored this cliffside before, so I'll I'll do that, because money is always appreciated. And there is the... There is the, the shrine. I'm really surprised I never noticed that before. It just seems like I've combed that area in the past, but maybe not. Maybe not. And apparently there's a boy or something waiting for me down here on this this bluff on the Palmore Beach. So let's let's fly down here. It's a little bit out of our way, but it is something that... Ow. It's something that can be, uh, tackled right now. And it's something that, honestly, was available to us much earlier in the game. So it's it's over here, I guess. Odd. Uh, once again, it's really strange that I never noticed this before. Huh. What is this? Now, I was warned in the comments section that this is a very cumbersome quest, so I don't even know if we're going to complete it. <gasps> now, is this what I think it is? Is this the mirror? Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Duh. Sorry about that. I was in the zone. Do you need something? What What are you doing with the mirror of twilight? Ah. I was just examining this stone monument. This place is a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? Mm. I recently realized that there was some writing engraved on the stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out exactly what is written here. Uh, can I help? Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're the curious type too. This stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Oh. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, will you? They're, they'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same kind of script carved into them. If you find a fragment, Please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. I'll be here finishing my examination of the stone monument. Mm. Oh, right. And the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. That should make them easier ah. to find. One should be right around here. Please find that first. Okay, I, I can already see why this would be a cumbersome quest. So let's, let's start combing, I guess. A lot of this will be done off screen. 
And honestly, I might look this one up. I, I don't like doing that, but it just seems... It seems like some one of the best fixes... It is nighttime. Yeah, it's nighttime. One of the best fixes for a lot of the super, super, as you guys put it, cumbersome quests. Okay, so I guess I'm going to be combing this. Hopefully there are only a few pieces I have to look for. There's one. Right here on the map. Found one. Here's another one. I actually walked right by this one. Now, are these all I need? It looks like it's in thirds, but you never know. Hey. Did you find any of the fragments for the stone mon monument? I sure did. Here's another one. Hmm. 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 Some of the fragments st must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I imagine a fragment may have rolled down to the beach nearby. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night, so you might want to try looking for them. You know, it just occurred to me that where I found it the first time wasn't necessarily a, an apt description of him saying it rolled down the beach. That's in the water. That's not in the beach at all. So maybe he's still hinting me as to the first one I should be getting. In that case, I'm going to go back, because I've combed this entire beach, and just see if maybe that's... See, that this isn't the beach, you know? Maybe I need to actually be looking in the beach. Sure enough, I found it. Wow. He was hinting me as to where the, the first one was supposed to be the entire time. Well, I think we're done. And that wasn't terribly cumbersome. I mean, I found all of them, so that's without help. So I, th I think that's fine. Now, I did check it. I checked a guy just to make sure they're like, they were like in this area. I didn't need to go to, I don't know, to the, to the Eventide Isle. But other than that, I found them all on my own. So did you find any fragments of the stone monument? This should be the last one, sir. That's amazing. Dot, 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 dot. Excellent. Thanks to you, I've got a good shot at deciphering the entire monument. Give me a second to see if I can put this all together. <laughs> wow. Thanks to you, I've deciphered the entire passage. When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Ah. I, I haven't the foggiest what that's supposed to mean. Do I kneel in between them? When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. That makes it sound like I need to be kneeling on this one with him on the other one. Let's ask. Hmm. When two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Ah, I, I am foggy what that's supposed to mean. Maybe I'm just supposed to kneel on, on both of them. Right? Huh? Is that it? Oh, thanks, man. Ah, oh, he caught on. It just, uh, he had to go to the right one. I had to be on the left for some reason. We did it. Now, could he come into the shrine with me? That seems kind of lame for me to go in on my own. He should come with. It should be a buddy shrine. I should be able to direct him and stuff. That's kind of the purpose of it. <laughs> Just watch it be a major test of strength and him get completely clobbered. Whoa! I don't know what was closer to bowling me over. The surprise or the way the ground's shaking. <laughs> so the two who needed to find their place were you and me. Makes sense. Good job figuring that one out. I, I sure never would have. Huh? You're fixing to go to explore that shrine. Oh, sorry. I won't keep any you any longer. Off you go. That raises a question. Why don't people go in the shrines? I mean, sure, they can't get in without a Sheikah Slate, but you'd think if we opened the way, they would, you know, jump in and come with. I don't know. It seems too exciting to, to not do that. Um, I'm going to be... Do I have to duck? I have to duck. 
quick thinking. This isn't really quick, but we'll we'll see what what this entails. Step on the switch. What does it do? It opens one side. Now, if we step off the switch, it'll close it. I'm guessing. So we probably need to go into the the right one. Yeah. Oh no, we need a barrel. Okay, so let's take this barrel. Uh, we're going to need to set it down. Oh, I see what they mean by quick thinking. We need to set down the barrel in order to get past this. And then I need to pick it up quickly and walk to the side and set it down on the switch. That would require a lot more quick thinking if I, I did it if I took the barrel with me on the first time, but that wasn't clear to me. But now that it is, I'll go to on the other one and it will actually require some quick thinking. Very late, that was a very late tone for solving the, the puzzle. Okay, so we have this. Get on here. Oh, uh, uh. Shoot it. No, no, no. Woo! More like quick drawing, not quick thinking. That was... That was pretty difficult. Of course, I did pick up the barrel in between, but still, that was... That required some actually quick thinking. Okay. Let's get our chest. I'm guessing it has a second small key that we use to get through both sets of doors. No, it gets a royal claymore with a tack up of 16, which I can carry in my inventory because I just got an upgrade. And that one wasn't actually necessary for me to do. It was the left one. And now that we've done that, I can open the super sick door and as always check behind. And it has only paid off once, but that one time I, I can rub in your face forever. All right, that was a, a done deal. Now with that shrine done, and with your input in mind, which was very little, I'll have to say, there isn't much that I can do right now without exploring a new area. We've combed almost everything. It's it's crazy, but that's that's where we're at. If you look at this map, this is a very completed map. Not only have I gotten a bunch of Koroks, I think we have 185 or something like that, but... We've gotten most bosses, we've gotten the most shrines. I dare say we have every single shrine in all of the explored regions. If there's something that I'm missing, like a, a shrine quest, since those don't show up on my sensor, please tell me. But otherwise, I think we're set to start exploring a new area. So I'm going to warp over to the, the Katakar Shrine, and we're going to explore a new area. Let's go! Katakar Shrine, quickly, I'm going to equip this, that, and my snow boots, which I got from the guy, and we're going to set out to explore this place, uh, probably going, ah, this is kind of difficult, can I take my horse? That would make things a lot easier. I cannot take aggro. Yeah, that makes things uh, a bit, a bit more difficult, and honestly, I don't really know where to start, because we're kind of warping into the center of things. Uh, I could ascend the mountain first. That probably makes the most sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Let's ascend the mountain and see if there's something up there. And then from there, we get a good view and we can fly to wherever we want. Also, actually, duh. I need to be... I should go to the tower. Yeah, that that actually makes the most sense. It's been so long I've, since I've explored a new area that I forget these things. But yeah, there's a tower. And it allows us to see places. So I'll I'll go to the top of the mountain, then I'll go to the tower. That makes that makes sense, right? Ow. What are you doing? Go away. Leave. Yeah, that's right. New kind of Octorok. Look at this. They they're like a cross between the chest Octoroks and then also uh the the normal ones, because they also shoot. Let's see, do I wanna conquer this? I don't think I wanna conquer this. I think I just wanna get this treasure and keep climbing. I'm Ryugan. Now where is the tower? Purple rupee. I I have a red marker somewhere. 
I don't know where exactly, but I have a red marker, and that's supposed to be, I think. What is that down there? Have I been ever? I've never been down there. That is not. That is not snow. Uh. What am I? What on earth? Why? Oh, whoa. Okay, there's the dragon. Casting shadows. Man, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool that I, I could see shadows right there? That is awesome. Wait, is this... This this is the Pharaon dragon. This is Farash. Because he's electric. Are you lost? You're on the opposite side of the map, dear sir, from where you're supposed to be. That's weird. Let's watch this. Ooh, hello. Oh, stone talus. Hello. Uh, I... I discovered the rock wall, but then the stone talus came out of nowhere. That is one of the first times I've seen a, a stone talus is actually taking me by surprise. And that's going to hit me, isn't it? Ow. Wow, I slide. That thing sent me to the moon. Boom. I'll jump up. And I believe bludgeoning weapons are the best, so let's... Come on. Wackadoo. Get him down to half health. Get him down to half health. I'm going to backflip off. Oh, no, that did not work. Ah. Ow. Just let me up. Let me up. Thank you. I actually found out if I'm if I'm rolling, uh it it behooves me. Is that a word? I think it I think it is. To um press B. It seems to stop my roll animation. Okay, he's, he's dead. And while I'm at it, let's just shoot that. Okay, so what is this? And also, am I looking for shrines? Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Get a diamond. I think I'm now at 10 diamonds. And we can go through this pathway, which leads us, if not to a shrine, then where? A giant ice block. Man, this area is kind of, kind of crazy. But I, I did say I was going to go on, up the mountain, so let's let's do that. Now, this episode definitely is going to be a bit shorter because the end slate's going to be extended very handily by a... There's a Korok probably here. Nope, but there is a chest. It's going to be extended fairly handily by all of the, the Koroks which I got that I need to show. Now, I'm not planning on a Radiant Shield, a weird place to get one. I'm not planning on getting every Korok seed, but I am planning on showing every Korok seed I do get. I, I think that's an important distinction. Oh boy, I'm probably going to run out of stamina doing it like this, but that's... Actually, no. I'm going to barely make it, aren't I? And Scribloosh? Oh, wait, whoa. I actually have an app for this. Uh, I made this new recipe off screen. I've been playing around with a lot of food stuff. Um, it's really stupid. It's really simple. But the recipe is two Stamella Shrooms and three Stamoka Bass, and it restores three wheels of stamina, which is three of our... Which, well, I mean, that entirely fills our stamina bar, which is kind of crazy. Okay, still going to the top of this. The dragons. This particular dragon almost f seems to follow us. It, like, he's he's in our grill for the entirety of the Pharaon region. And he almost just seems to follow us around. He will, will he'll come out of the um, out of Lake Hylia whenever we're there. He just always seems to be around, and it's kind of creepy. He's like the stalker dragon. Yeah, he's probably just really grateful for us saving his life in Skyward Sword. If it's the same dragon, I mean, he hasn't had a speaking role, so I I have no reason to believe that it's the same one, but. It is functionally this game's Thunder Dragon, so it kind of stands to reason. Okay, where is this mountain taking me? I'm not getting a shrine indicator. I'm not getting anything here, but there's a tall mountain that I want to climb. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Is this what I think it is? This totally is. This is the seventh heroine. Look at that sword. That We've seen that sword before. We just stumbled across the seventh heroine. Or is it eighth? It might be eighth. Uh, quests. Seventh, eighth heroine. The eighth heroine is right here. 
Okay, let's kill him. That's a special sword. You see that? What is that sword? Uh, let's electrocute you and just spin to win. Ow. Please don't grab that sword. Ah, you tips. Golden Claymore. There. That's what I wanted. These guys are always worth to kill. Well, almost always. Because they drop, uh... We grab the Golden Claymore. Because they drop gems. And they drop guts. Okay, so judging by where this sword was, was dropped, I'm guessing the statue was up here. That makes a lot of sense. So we'll climb up here, and then we'll see the remnants of statue? No. Oh. Are you... You're a silver Lionel, aren't you? Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Yeah, it's a silver Lionel. Uh, well, we'll mark it on our map. I'm trying to find a shrine here. Or a, a quest thing. It's not really working out. I just rounded this bluff, and I don't see this heroine anywhere. But I do see a shrine, and I guess uh, we could end the episode at the shrine, but I really want to end the episode at the tower, if nothing else. So, I did see the tower. It's over here, and we'll fly down to that, and hopefully that'll enable us to I'll also place my, uh, my traveler's gate here. Place. Yes, that's fine. And then next episode, we can fight that that Silver and Lionel. Because I'm always a fan of fighting those things. They're, it, it's always enjoyable. Now, I do remember that taking a picture of that sword will not count towards the quest. Because it needs to be above the head and shoulders. That's our That was our specific instruction. So, I'll make my way over here. The, the tower is down there. Which is quite a ways away. I have a guy with a... Is that a blizzard rod? If that's a blizzard rod, I'm... I am happy. Uh... Yeah, I can climb back up. Ice rod. That's sad. Okay, so let's... I don't know what this this giant ice block is. But it seems important. Whoa, it had a... It had a moblin in it. Uh, let's get out of here. Goodbye. What's that guy doing? It almost feels like their buddies have been frozen by this. Is that like the the story of this? Is all of their friends have been frozen by this whiz robe with the ice rod? It looks like it. So if I melt all of these, yeah, there are a bunch of enemies everywhere. Will they be my friend if I? Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Will they be my friend if I melt them all out of the ice? That'd be kind of cool. I'd love to be a Bokoblin friend. Sapphire. This is kind of weird. Like, this this area doesn't really have a, a true purpose. It's just there for us to help these Bokoblins for some reason. Okay, so tower. I need to stop being distracted. That is my goal. That, that Bokoblin is riding a bear. And, uh, you know what? We have never had an opportunity to ride a bear before. I don't have any arrow. I want to ride this bear. Because you've told me in the comments, you can ride bears. Don't run off the cliff. Don't run off the cliff. Come on, bear. Bear. Man, this bear is fast. Aren't bears supposed to be as fast as horses? Bear. Let me... Ah. Why are bears running away from me? That shouldn't be. Also, what even are these animals? These are new. Yes, I know. I'm supposed to be going to the, the shrine. Or the, the tower. But there are animals here and bears that I can ride. I got gourm gourmet steak. Goodness, that's amazing healing. Okay, my chance to ride a bear. I need to ride a bear. Got it. I'm riding a bear. Oh, I need to soothe it. Can you run, bear? Run? Because you're... What are you doing? What is this bear doing? He's on fire. Is that what's going on? Oh my goodness, that's the scariest thing. 
What is he doing? I... I don't know, but this bear is terrifying. Look at these eyes. I think I have the thumbnail. Normally, I don't consciously think... Okay, bear, I think I might have to put you out of your mind. That's the weirdest bear experience I've ever had, and I've had a lot of bear experiences over my many years. Gonna ignore that chest. Okay, let's go. Whoa. What is this? Man, there's so many cool sights here, but I need to stop. This is, I think, the Yiga Clan Arena. No, it's not. This is its own thing. Or is it? It might be the Yiga Clan. It's the Yiga Clan Arena, actually. Yeah, okay. So let's go to this tower. I know I've wasted a lot of this episode, but it was for a good cause. I was exploring fun time things. And next episode, we're probably going to be exploring a lot more fun time things. And having a lot of fun. It's great, though, now that I, I am in a new area, I don't necessarily need to be waiting on your input. When I was doing other things, I that was a, a desperate... That was something I desperately needed was to listen to your input because I I really couldn't what on earth is this tower where does this tower come from what on earth this is what but what 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 is this tower this is so tall uh, let's equip our climbing gear because we need that this is so weird Okay, uh, yeah, next episode we're probably gonna be starting by going to the bottom of this thing, because what on earth? Okay, uh, cat call- <laughs> Uh, you know, normally I, I, I consider cat call tower from Okami to be the tallest tower I've ever seen in gaming. Like, the tallest climbable tower, not like a tower that's like, oh, this is infinitely tall. No, that doesn't count. Uh, if you can load the entire tower and climb it and touch it, then it's the- it counts towards the tallest tower award. And this is one of the tallest towers I've ever seen. And I dare say it takes the cake from Catcall. Maybe. I mean, Catcall was so big we couldn't see all of it at once, but we could climb it. So, so I don't know. Oh, there's a, a shrine down there. You see that on the right? I'm guessing that's what, uh, what Katniss, or <laughs> Katniss, uh, Cass? Yeah, Cass, not Katniss, is, is doing his accordion about. Well, I know we haven't gotten a whole lot done, and honestly, there's probably been a lot of cutting around, but I'm fine with that. We've done some solid exploring, and we've already gotten one shrine, so I think I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I rec- uh, yeah. I release- not I recognize. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. And join me next time where we talk to Katniss with his French ac accent, defeat a Lionel, and discover the eighth heroine. Also, please tell me how to pronounce heroin. See you guys then! Oh, that- oh my goodness, that actually scared me. Okay, that's something of substance. Wow. Uh, okay then. I thought that was a giant eye. Do they- I'm guessing they want electricity. Wow. That, uh... I shouldn't complain too much, because Breath of the Wild kind of seems to hear me, and...
Thank you. 